Well, everybody, next we go to Roundhouse Spirits with uh, Ted Palmer. Thanks so much for inviting us in. Where are we now? So this is the Roundhouse Speakeasy. It's our new iteration of our bar. Yep. Uh, it took a long time to get built, but it's finally open, if you can find it. We, we have all kinds of different music, uh, swing and bluegrass to jazz. Okay, so speakeasy. So this is the whole, the whole setting is um, the 1920s kind of thing. Yes. Is that the idea? A lot of the cocktails from the 20s that were in the speakeasies, they were using all kinds of different juices and flavors to cover up really poor tasting alcohol. And so they would use all these different flavors. For us, we can't use other people's alcohol, so we have to use juices and other flavors that aren't alcoholic. So that's what we do. Uh, Roundhouse has been open for six years now. We've been in this location for four. We are all over the state of Colorado. We're also in other states like New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Maryland, DC, Illinois, and we're also now in Europe. So this is the Roundhouse Gin. Yep. It's a new Western style of gin. Uh, what that means, it's very low on the juniper. So it's not like looking at a pine tree with the English dry gins. We have 11 organic botanicals, and they're organic for a really good reason, the gin hangover. If you've ever had really cheap gin, you know yeah. what I'm talking about. Less because, of a hangover with this? Yes, because all of our botanicals are organic. So the gin hangover is caused by pesticides. Really? I thought it was caused by fusel oils. Uh, that can do it, but that's because it's a cheap gin. This is a much higher quality. So this is our Imperial Barrel Aged Gin. Yep. It's our regular roundhouse gin, but aged in a barrel. So we like to call it Ginsky. Really? It looks like whiskey. Yeah, it, it, it kind of is. Uh, my goal is to make a bourbon-esque style gin, and I think I succeeded. All right. This is our Coretto coffee liqueur. Coretto is an Italian word, it means coffee corrected. And we get our coffee from the Unseen Bean, which is a local roaster here in Boulder. Oh, yeah. It has uh, half the calories of the big name brands. Right. Then we have the Pumpkin King Cordial. There's a pound of baby bear pumpkin in every bottle. The pumpkins are grown locally at Munson Farms, and they're organic. Well, the Roundhouse Gin has gotten gold medals in every time zone across the continental US. We just got a gold medal in Berlin, which we're very proud of. And Imperial Gin has also gotten many awards, gold, silvers. Same with the Coretto. Every time we put something into a competition, we seem to get medal. Well, my goal was always to make the best gin in the world. Uh, and these awards helped me to validate that, yes. Are you a scientist? Yes, I went to uh, school for chemistry, microbiology, and botany. Then I uh, toured the world in the Navy, uh, got out of the Navy, and then went to brewing school in Chicago. So I became a microbrewer. This is my longest running uh, employee, uh, Christine Wilkins. She came in uh, about two years ago and has been helping me behind the bar ever since. So. <laughs> Tours uh, during the week are at four o'clock, and on the weekend, three and five. So six years ago, Roundhouse got started, and this was the original still. It's a three-gallon pot still. It made one case of gin per batch. These are American white oak. They have number two char in them. That means the inside of the barrel's been burnt, and there's a layer of charcoal in there. And they're all full of gin. So these are the 11 organic botanicals. Uh, this one right here is Sencha green tea from Japan. It's a roasted green tea. And we have lavender, lemon, chamomile, coriander, uh, hibiscus. This here is angelica root, which is a savory spice from Lapland. Uh, this one here is orange. Uh, then juniper, this is what makes it gin. And then we have Chinese star anise or licorice. And then the last one here is orris root, which is the rhizome of iris. It takes a lot of experience to be able to make a product that has high quality, great taste and isn't going to make you sick because of pesticides. That's it here from Roundhouse Spirits, our best of Boulder. Congratulations, Ted. It's Ted Palmer, ladies and gentlemen. He's taking over the world with gin.